This is the car hacking village at DEF CON 30, where you can hack Teslas, go-karts, trucks. Let's go check out one of the first contests getting set up right now. So we just sat down. This looks absolutely fascinating, <laughs> what, but I have no idea what I'm looking at. Thanks, Silk. Uh, this half right here is our Nerf Dart Challenge, which we've been running with the Car Hacking Village since uh, virtual mode. So this used to be in my basement, and now it's actually here at DEF CON. It was also at GERCON. Yeah. Right? This year, because we, we now have disclosed that you can transmit onto trucks wirelessly, the contestants have to use SDRs to make them launch. Previously, we gave them diagnostic adapters. And if you can send the right signal, the right J2497 signal, I'm going to do it because uh, I have the demo right here. But, woo! Right? So this is a trailer brake controller. Oh my goodness. That we've turned upside down. It's actually getting fed compressed air, which is a supply line and a control line. So this is simulating the truck driver with their foot on the brake and air pressure supplied. And then we send a solenoid test command, which chuffs air and so, launches our darts. Hold on, I'm a, I wanna make sense of what you just said. Because yeah, while this is just like darts going up in the air, one, freaking cool. <laughs> but you're, you're, one of the things you said earlier was this is wirelessly, tra so trucks have wireless access points in them that you can connect to and then you can send commands into it. And this command, while this is just like shooting off Nerf guards, what could you do with this type of command? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to talk about that on Saturday, track one, 4 p.m. Okay. Uh, but all the diagnostic features of these trailer brake controllers is all over this J2497 interface. Now, you said they have wireless access points. Brand new truck technology sometimes does. It's kind of a bad idea. The really unfortunate thing about what we're disclosing here is that this is power line communications technology that is susceptible to transmission. Oh so my you goodness. can actually induce messages on the power line bus. And they did not intend that, but you can do it. So this year we're just giving people an SMA connector and they have to you know, send the right signal because if they tried to do it over the air around here in DEF CON's uh, RF environment, it, yeah, it's, kind, it it's kind of like there's so much <laughs> in the air. It's amazing that our mics are even like, right? going to the camera right now. <laughs> What, so if you, you said the, you're giving out the S, SDR connector? Yeah, it's an SMA connector for... Uh, is anybody here seeing what? For software-defined radio. So this is an FL2K, which is a USB dongle you can actually transmit with. Okay, so you wireless transmit to that. How would they go about learning some of this? Or is, is this the place to learn? If I've never done yeah. any of this before, can I learn all of that here? Um, so we've done a few talks over the years about hacking trucks and how J2497 is put together. Uh, my colleague Chris Poor at AIS has put together code that we just published. It's a GNE radio module that can transmit this stuff. Uh, we have uh, mitigation technology that we've published. So pretty much everything we've got is on GitHub and, and should be Googleable. Okay. Or, you know, I'll be here to answer questions. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we are in the car hacking village at DEF CON 30. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. And as always, hack on.